good morning all of you last class we have discussed the story two stories about flying two stories about flying so in the first part it has two parts in the first part we have learned the story of a young seagull what is the name of that chapter first flight now we are going to check the second story in this lesson the name of this lesson is black aeroplane the black aeroplane it was written by frederick fawcett in the story a pilot who was coming back home unexpectedly entered into a storm and he almost lost everything suddenly a mysterious thing happened which saved his life a black aeroplane came there he doesn't know who was that so we can check what is there in the story okay let's go to the lesson the black aeroplane remember we are going to uh, explain line by line but instead of that you can read the story from your textbook and here we are giving you the summary of the story after getting the summary we just go through that story after that if you have any doubts you can ask me then we'll clear that one okay so let's go to the story let's go to the lesson about the author frederick Fawcett is an english author journalist spy and occasional political commentator he is best known for thrillers so we can go to the introduction the lesson black aeroplane reflects on how one's judgment gets distorted due to fantasizing and how it creates problems the narrator is a pilot who is so eager to meet his family and have a good breakfast he takes a wrong decision of facing the storm instead of doing the right thing miraculously he somehow manages to escape with the help of a mysterious aeroplane so let's check the lesson how it goes it was night time when the sky was clear and the stars could be seen twinkling the pilot felt peace in being above a country that had fallen asleep while he was flying over france to england it was half past 1 in the morning and he was fantasizing about holidaying with his family so he was flying over paris when the aeroplane was in france the pilot thought of informing the paris control personnel about its presence and for instructions at that time lights from the paris city were blaring at him he informed the control agency to which they replied with further instruction instruction on directions the control room at paris instructed him to turn 12 degrees towards the west by getting the instruction from the paris control so he what he has done there we can check After receiving the instructions the pilot geared up and followed them while putting the last fuel tank into operation all this time he was dreaming about his time with his family and then he started thinking about having a satisfactory breakfast at the destination point he was calm as everything was going as planned now the plane had crossed paris when he started seeing clouds in the sky the presence of clouds made it unsafe to travel by air because there were chance of a storm they were so huge and dark that the pilot compared them with the black mountains he knew he couldn't pass them as it was impossible to go above them or escape them with the amount of fuel that was left in the last tank a very few fuel is left there the right decision would have been to fly back to paris safely but the pilot's decision ma- making was clouded by his f- wish to meet his family he so desperately wanted to be with his family and how that english breakfast he had been dreaming for dreaming of all day that he took the risk of not going back thus he headed the plane right into the storm he was dreaming to reach his family It was so dark because of the storm that nothing was visible outside the plane. He started losing control of the aeroplane. The combers and other instruments had also stopped working because of 
the bad weather he became helpless he tried calling the paris control agency who had helped him earlier but couldn't connect because of the weather bad because of the weather in the midst of nowhere when everything failed he saw a ray of hope when he saw another aeroplane he felt relieved when he saw another pilot's face and the willingness to help him escape the storm he thought to himself that the other pilot is very kind as he knew that they were lost and was trying to help him the other pilot took his plane ahead of the lost aeroplane to make it easier for them to follow while the other followed him like an obedient child he was also panicking because there was very less amount of fuel left it was only then that he started coming out of the storm and could see the runway to land his plane safely when he turned to thank the other pilot he realized that the plane that helped him had disappeared as soon as he came out of the storm so the plane which helped him that was disappeared when he came out of the storm that plane was disappeared what 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 was that the other did not know where he had landed but was not afraid of leaving his plane unattended he headed straight into the control room to ask about the other pilot to his utmost surprise the lady informed him that there was no other plane in the sky except his because of the bad weather he is left astonished with a lot of questions unanswered in his mind so we have discussed the story black aeroplane so what happened there a mysterious aeroplane came to help our narrator he couldn't understand who was that so that was left for the readers to guess who may be that it may be somebody a god a ghost whatever it is it was left for the readers to predict okay i hope you have understood the story so today you have to read that story completely then if you have any doubts you must have asked me and one more thing today even afternoon you will have your english examination so after the classes study very well and write the exam very well without doing any naughty things and get good marks okay so let's wind up our class here now take care bye